30 years ago, it was something that no Salafi would do. 10 years go by, then the group become easier with it, easy going with photography. Another 10 years go by, and people become even easier, so then they start taking pictures with their, cam with their cameras on their phones. Another five or six years go by, and then they post those images on their profile pictures on WhatsApp and Twitter and elsewhere. See, the angels don't enter a house in which there is a dog. The angels will not enter a house in which there is pictures, images, whether it be photographs or whether it be hand-drawn images or portraits of anything that has a soul, whether it be an animal or a human being, where the face can be seen. And that's why when Jibreel alayhi salam came to the Prophet wasallam, he said to him, I came to you last night, but I did not enter because I was prevented because there are images at the door and there are images in the house. So command the heads to be removed from those images and cut the cloth that has images upon it and turn it into cushions that can be sat upon and stood upon and remove that dog from the house and that was a puppy. That was the puppy of Al-Hassan or Al-Hussein and the Prophet Sallallahu commanded, commanded that it be removed from the house. And likewise, the narration of Ali radiallahu anhu, that he said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam commanded me not to go past an image except to disfigure it, to erase the face, to erase the image, and not to go past a grave except to level it to the ground. So those of you who are keen on keeping photographs, bear that in mind. The angels will not enter a house. Of course, that which you cannot control, then that is not upon you. Like for example, if you have a passport in your house or if you have money in your house and on, upon these coins and notes there is images and pictures you know, of people, then that is, that is out of your control, your driving license or your ID card. That these types of things, they are out of your hands. And likewise, if your children are studying and they bring textbooks home, then that is out of your control. Because they are learning from that. So the best thing to do with those kind of textbooks is that you make sure that they are upon the shelf, out of sight. And when their use is finished, remove them from the house. Likewise, with products that you buy from the supermarket, you'll starve. Because everything's got images upon it. From your cornflakes to your rice krispies to your biscuits to your cakes, everything. Images of humans or pictures and so on and if you were to sit there rubbing all of them out you would have nothing else to do because there's so many of those kind of things fear Allah be dutiful to him as much as you are able that which you can control that you are responsible for then do not allow those photographs and images not even on your phones not even on your phones And this is why I keep mentioning it because these are slippery slopes that will lead to sin and transgression and things only become greater. 30 years ago, it was something that no Salafi would do. 10 years go by, then a group become easier with it, easy going with photography. Another 10 years go by and people become even easier so then they start taking pictures with their, cam with their cameras on their phones. Another five or six years go by, then they post those images on their profile pictures on WhatsApp and Twitter and elsewhere with their wives and children. Shaitan, once he begins, he will not stop. So close the door at his beginning. Live with honor. And do not allow that, do not prevent the angels from entering into your house due to something that you've done. As for that which is out of your control, and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to overlook us. Rabbana la tu'akhidna inna sina o akhta'ana. O our Lord, do not punish us for that which we do mistakenly or that for which we forget and that which we do mistakenly. Don't call us to account, Ya Rabb. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Qad fa'alt. That Allah said, indeed, I have overlooked you. 
But those things are out of your control. But don't bring it onto yourself. Don't bring all of these kind of things into your homes. Leave your houses open. Barakallahu feekum.